Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math questions out of this book here the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 219. And today is our lesson number 79, uh, lesson number 81. Let's take a look at the problem. It says, which of the following integers are prime numbers? Which of the following integers are prime numbers? Now, if you want to learn the concept of prime number thoroughly, completely, I put together two, before, two days before, day before yesterday, on day number 79, if you watch this video, Revised GRE Math, day 79, you will see that I have done, uh, I've done a, a comprehensive job, if you will, complete job of talking about all the prime numbers from 1 through 100. Watch that video if you, if you are one of those people who, had some, who have some trouble uh, with locating prime numbers, you might find it fruitful. So let's make a list of the numbers that they give you here. 2, 2, 9, 19, 29, 30, 37, 45, 49, 51, 83, 90, and 91. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Looks like they give you a dozen. Did I miss anything? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Very good. 2, 9, 19, 29, 30, 37, 45, 49, 51, 83, 90, 91. Okay, let's go through them one by one. Which of these are prime numbers? The biggest symbol that a number of people find is this very first guy here. Make sure if you're going to watch this video, I'm going to repeat, I'm, I'm repeating myself. If you're going to watch this video, make sure you have the patience to go until the very end of it. That's where the payoff is. So, 2 is a prime number. What is a prime number? Well, over there we explain it. What is a prime number? Day 79. So I'm not going to put it on the blackboard again one more time because that was the whole idea. I wanted to cover the concept by itself. A prime number is a number that can be that is divisible by only itself and 1. You cannot divide that number by any other number. And even though 2 is an even number, 2 qualifies as a prime number because what number can you divide 2 by? I cannot think of any number that I can divide 2 evenly into except itself and 1. Therefore, even though 2 is an even number, it's a prime number. 2 is the only even number that is a prime number. Why? Because any other even number would be divisible by 2. 4 can be divided by 2 and therefore it's not a prime number. So 2 is fine. What about 9? 9 is no good. 9 is no good because 9 equals 3 times 3, which means you can divide 9 by 3. That is no good. 19 works. I'm going to pick up speed now again because this has already been covered, as I said, 3 times already on day 79. 19 is a prime number. So is 29. 30 is not a prime number because 30 can be written as 3 times 10. So 30 is a, it's not a prime number because it can be divided by 3 or a 5 or a 10 or a 15. It, it goes into many number. 37 is a prime number. 37 is a prime number. 45 is not. 45 is not because it is simply 5 times 9. Which means it can be divisible by, it can be divided by 5 or a 3. 3 or a 5 or a 15 or 9. Many, many numbers. 49 is not a prime number because 49 equals 7 squared, which means it can be divided by 7. What about 51? How do we find out if 51 is a prime number? Well, here's the rule. If 
the sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by is divisible by three then the number itself is divisible by three. If the sum of the digits if the sum if the sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by three then the number itself is divisible by three. For example here fifty one some of the digits are some of the digits are some of the digits are five plus one which is six and of course six can be divided by three therefore fifty one can be divided by three and we'll do it here fifty one divided by three how many threes in a five there is only one three in a five the remaining two goes and joins the one becomes twenty one and there are seven of them which means fifty one equals 17 times 17 times 3 right here 17 times 3 it is not a prime number I'm going to erase this part here so that you don't get confused and I'm going to show you one more time how we divided 51 by 3 how many 3's in a 5? there is only one 3 in a 5 the remaining 2 goes and joins this guy becomes 21 how many 3's how many in a 21? There are seven threes in twenty-one. So that's not it. Eighty-three is a tough one. Eighty-three is a tough one. Let's keep eighty-three in abeyance. We'll deal with this letter. Let's do it the easy ones first. 90, of course, is not a prime number because 90 is simply 9 times 10. 90 is not a prime number. Let's look at 91. We need the room now. I shouldn't have erased that part. Let's keep 83 in abeyance. What does it mean to keep something in abeyance? It just means we'll deal with it later. Let's not worry about it right now. I have done this thing many times. I don't know. I need to do it again and again. If you're interested in learning the word abeyance or for that matter any other words to improve your vocabulary, you can watch the vocabulary videos of mine. And abeyance is something that we covered in D9. Type in vocabulary day nine with my name and will pop right up. Let's talk about 91. Let's talk about 91. 91 actually is very straightforward. Uh, 91 is straightforward because 91, if you were to subtract 70 from it, 91, if you were to subtract 70 from it, you get 21. You just, I, I don't know for some reason, I, I have no trouble remembering that. Subtract 70 from it. Why 70? Why do I go to 70? If you're curious, why do I go to 7? Well, here's the reason for it. See if you can follow me. 91 is what we're talking about. And I'm going to share with you my thought process as to why I go all the way up to 7 before I stop. 91 obviously is not divisible by 2 because it's not an even number. It is not divisible by 3 because some of the digits is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 is not divisible by 3. It's clearly not divisible by 4 because for a number to be divisible by 4 it has to be also divisible by 2 and we already said it's not divisible by 2 because it's not an even number. Now just because number is an even number doesn't mean that it's divisible by 4. What I just said is that for a number to be divisible by 4 it must also be divisible by 2. And this is not an even number so it's not divisible by 4. It's clearly not divisible by 5 because for a number to be divisible by 5 the last digit the unit digit has to be either 0 or a 5, so it's not divisible by 5. For a number to be divisible by 6, it has to be divisible by both 2 and 3, and this is neither. Therefore 7. Let's try 7. We know there are 10 7s and 7 keys. 10 7s 
10 sevens and 70s. So if you subtract 70 from it, we get 21. So this represents 10 sevens. This represents 3 sevens. That tells us that 91 must equal. That tells us 91 must equal 10 plus 3, 13 sevens. The reason why that's a tough one to crack is because it is the product of two prime numbers. 13 and 7 that is. So 91 equals 13 times 7. It is not a prime number. It is not a prime number. Let's do the very last one, 83. Let's do the very last one, 83. Eighty three is a tough one to explain. Well, I'm going to go very quickly one by one and see what we can do here very quickly. I'm not going to slow down. I don't know how far we, how far I want to go. Eventually, I'm going to give up. Okay? It's not divisible by two because it's not even. It's not divisible by three because some of the digits is. 11. 11 does not go into 3. It's not divisible by 4 because it wasn't divisible by 2. It's not divisible by 5 because it doesn't end in a 0 or 5. It is not divisible by 6 because it's not divisible by either 2 or 3. It's not divisible by 7. And how do we know that it's not divisible by 7? Because if you were to break up 83 into 70 and 13. Well, 70 is 10 sevens, but 13 does not divide into 7. So it's not divisible by 7. It's not divisible by 8 because it's not even number. It's not divisible by 9 because we know that 9, 81 equals 9 squared. This is just two more. It's not divisible by 9. It is not divisible by 10 clearly because it doesn't end in a 0. It's not divisible by 11 because anything that is divisible by 11 would have to be two digit number that is, would have to be the same digits. 11, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, and so forth. This is not 88. It's not divisible by 11. It's not divisible by 12 because it's not divisible by 2. If a number is divisible by 12, it would have to be also divisible by 2. Let's try 13, shall we? 13 is a prime number. See what happens. Let's try 13. Since it's all the way up to 83, 13 times 5 is 15, 5, carry 1, 65. Another 13, we get 8 and 78. No, that's only 5 of it. 13 is not going to work. 14 is not going to work because it's not an even number. 15 is not going to work because it doesn't go into 5. 16 is it's not going to work because it doesn't divide by 2. Eventually I'm going to give up. 17, let's try 17. 17 times 5, 35, 3, 5 plus 85. No, it doesn't work, you see. It is a prime number. 83 is a prime number. 83 is a prime number. So now we're going to go in our list and circle all the prime numbers. Two is one of, two was one of them. Very first one. Then we have 19. Then we have 29. Then we have 37. Then we have 45 did not work, 49 did not work, 51 did not work, we have 83. The toughest one, the tough guy. Let's put a star next to it. 90 did not work, 91 did not work. That's it. So we have one, two, three. Four and five winners out of the out of the dozen that they give you, there are only five winners. As far as the problem is concerned, as far as the problem is concerned, as it is given to us, it is done. Now I'm going to do something extra. Let's, we're going to do something extra. Let's find. Let's find prime factors of all the numbers in this list, in this list, that are not prime numbers. Prime 
prime factors of 9 are, well, when you say R, but 9 is very simple, it's just 3. 9 only has 1 prime factors. 9 only has 1 prime factors. The next one we have that is not a prime number is 30. How do we find prime factors of 30? Divide by the smallest number, which is 2, that gives us 15. Divide by 3, we get 5. That's it. So 30, prime factors of 13 are 9 are or is 3. Prime factors of 30 are, we just found them. Where did it go? Three and five, two, three and five. What's the next one? So we took care of nine. Nine is done. Nine is done. Thirty is done. Next one is forty-five, which is simply, as you can see, forty-five is simply made up of five times three times three. So prime factors of forty-five are three and five. Three and five. What about 51? Prime factors of 51 are 3 and 17. What about 83? 83 is a prime number. What about 90? 90 is, is, is a, a time-consuming one. We're done with all this thing. I need the room for 90. Where can I squeeze 90? Let's do it here. 90 divided by the smallest number, that is 2. 45 divided by 3. We get 15 divided again by 3, we get 5. So the prime factors of 19 are 2, 3, and 5. 90 are 2, 3, and 5. Or perhaps I should do 90 over here so that you can see it. Again, properly, we are doing 90. Divide by the smallest number, we get 45. Divide by 3, we get 15. Divide again by 3, we get 5. So 2, 3, and 5 are the 2, 3, and 5 are the prime factors of 90. And that's about it. But I thought we had a dozen out of which only 5, so we missed 7. Oh, 49. Prime factors of 49. Prime factors of 49 are, again, it's not R, it actually is, because it only has 7. That's it. I don't know what else I missed here. We have 9, 30, 45, 49, 51, and 90. That's it. So those are called prime factors. Those are called prime factors. And that's it. We are done with this thing. We did a lot more than what was needed, but at least now we know how to find, how to find prime factors of something. Alright, I will see you on day number 82. Bye now.